Welcome to Wolfenstein The New Order. This is a first person shooter from Machine Games, a studio that was founded by a bunch of people that came from Starbreeze Studios, who I'm most familiar with as the people who made the Chronicles of Riddick Escape from Butcher Bay game, which was surprisingly very good and one of the best games based on a movie ever. I've actually watched a playthrough of this entire game, but rather than make me feel like I've already experienced it, so what's the point of playing it myself? Instead, it actually just made me want to play it even more. I haven't played a shooter in a long time, or at least it feels like a long time. This is a damn good shooter paired with a surprising amount of humanity. Alright, let's jump into it. I've played it for about five minutes just to check settings and stuff like that, so let's start a new game. There's hard and very hard. I'm gonna go with hard. I am death incarnate. smell the barbecue. I hear children. A dog. And I see someone. I think I see someone. These things. None of it for me. Not moved by roaring engines. Not long warriors. We come from the night. He's open, Blazkowicz. You keep a lookout. I need to go for the piss. A shit! Blazkowicz, go back into the flight deck. Clamp the fuel line to engine six, quickly! Find the tools in the tool cabinet. You'll need pliers and some bailing wire. The fuel line is inside the fuel line compartment. Cracking job, Captain, but I'm losing altitude. Need to drop weight or we will be ditching hard life. Head for the cargo bay and jet us and everything we've got out the cargo door. Hold fast, I'm cranking up the cargo hub. Right, now cut the crates loose, Blasco. Jesus, Blasco, we're escaping us, that man! Blaskowitz! Are you alright back there? This flak is coming from Death's Head's compound. What the devil? Jerry is off! Up to the turret, Blaskowitz! Go, go! Clean kills! Mind our friendlies! Multiple bandits following me! Breathing, you dumb it, bastard. Uh, it's tough as they come, you know. Jesus Christ. Mayday! Vulture one, coming, Vulture one. Uh, med pack free, Blasco. Use it. Oh, I keep playing at your hatch, can't you? Hey, Condor 9, this is Vulture one. You're crowding me, he's off. Negative, Vulture one. I've got a serious case of bad bush. you need to shuffle out of formation, and you need to make room, Fergus. Uh, affirmative, Randall. Blasco, retract the radar. Pull the handle up there by those flashing lights. Much obliged, Captain. I 
appreciate your problem, Condor 9. I see smoke. Uh, I see solution coming off your rudders. Your freeze ailerons are done. Yeah, this thing handles like a concrete fridge. Thanks for the... Ah! Oh, Condor 9! Come in, Condor 9! Shit, that's a troop transport. Condor 9, come in, come in, Condor 9! This is Condor 9! Who's this? Private Wyatt! Sergeant and I, Bearborn! All right, Bear Boy. Listen up, play close attention. Now, you see the pilot's wheel? <laughs> yes, sir! Right. I want you to grab it as hard as you can with both hands and pull it towards you. Now, don't turn it, mind you. You keep it level, just pull it towards your chest. Okay, sir! I think it's working! We're leveling out! Okay, Private Wyatt. I need you to do one more thing for me. Sir! Have a man ready by the side door. You are getting visitors. Roger that, sir! Blazkowicz, get the cockpit door open. You're gonna have to... You ready? Here we go! Thanks for the med bag. Oh, oh thank God you're here! Oh, oh God! Get up your ass! Oh, Jesus! Vultures oh, 1, 3, 4, 8, oh, 9 are down. That's a right place that we'll have to abort. Blasco, let's get this boy off the floor. It's a negative, Condor 9. Maintain your course. God damn it, dog. That's... We're getting murdered oh, out here. Listen to me, Fergus. If this mission fails, we lose Europe. It's that simple. I'm okay now. <laughs> you saved me from the horrors of war by slapping me. Thank you. Damn it. If you don't stop this head now, Fergus, that window is closed forever. We will lose this war. I got an idea. Look, I've got to go. That's head's compound's coming up. Always say command out. Call that nine out. Grab your ball back, Blasco! Brace for impact! We're coming down hard! God save fuck all! Hold on! I do for you. We can't get to it from out of position. Not that fucking trapped in here. But if you can access a cockpit turret on this here aircraft, you might be able to kill the beast. Regular small I'm sure don't work for bug at all. Hey, perhaps you can swim here. Just keep your head down below the surface. You should be alright. 
Good plan, Fergus. Coming to you. Okay, so, holy shit. Sprint slide, okay. My head underwater. As much as I have the urge to grab a breath from up there, I'm pretty sure it's instant death. God, Blaskowitz can really hold their breath for a long time. I mean, their heart must be pounding right now, right? There's no way they're calm during this. Okay, something weird is going on. Um, there's something wrong with the audio. During the cutscenes, in all the previous cutscenes, it's been extremely quiet, the audio. So I was figuring I would just fix it in post by upping the volume. But the audio in this cutscene right now is almost completely inaudible. Okay, I think I fixed it. The fix, for some reason, was to turn the in-game volume all the way to max. This thing here, I had it at like half. Max that all the way and then turn down the volume in the Windows volume mixer instead of here. And that fixes the cutscene volume? I have no idea why. But yeah, it's fine now. Alright, listen up. There's a high-powered machine gun nest in those trenches over there. We cannot advance a unit without being slaughtered. So, I want you to make your way over into those trenches and take the nest out. Just run as fast as you possibly bloody can, straight up the middle. We'll lay down cover fire from here. Got it. Ah, I'll put this on. I'll radio updates from our position. Right, lads, you ready to lay down suppressor fire? I think I'm gonna take a lot of damage running straight into uh, a mounted machine gun. Not too bad. All right, you're in. Now disable the machine gun nest. Wait, how do I disable that? Do I have like a grenade or something? Ah, grenades. Left alt and S to lean down. Huh. <laughs> oh, that's the rest of my ammo. Uh, yeah, so from what I saw, it really pays to explore just a little bit. You find armor and ammo and health packs and all that sorts of stuff all over the place. And on this difficulty, I'm definitely going to need it. Yeah, what a weird thing. Can I... So hold down Alt and then I guess any of the... Yeah, Alt plus any of the directional keys goes up, down, left, or right. Oh god. Oh, 
Ammo, ammo, ammo. Okay. The Flasco, a stomper, seems to be stalking the trench lane. We said, boys, small arms fire is utterly useless on that thing. We've tried. I can already dual wield assault rifles. <laughs> Got assault rifle and a submachine gun. Is this what? Yeah, this is what I was using before. This thing is very weak. I saw you. Oh, it looks like there's auto pop up. If I right click to aim down the sights while behind this thing, it automatically pops me up. Oh, a map. You know, I think in the playthrough I watched, I don't think the person ever really used the map. I don't think it was really particularly useful. Um. Hmm. Well, I guess it does show me that there's two ways to progress. I guess either this way or that way. But yeah, it's, I don't think it's the sort of game that has levels that are big enough to really need a map. The levels are fairly linear. You kind of just aim at stuff that glows a little bit and just mash E. Because chances are you want all of it. Hmm. That looks special. Maybe I come back here. Oh, find a way into the bunker. Probably this bunker, right? That's my quest. Oh, you. That's the SMG. Ooh. Is it going to see me? Who's shooting at me? Oh, no way back up. Oh well, I think I got everything up there. That is nothing. Oh yeah, that's right, I forgot I gotta kill puppies in this game. Nazi mecha puppies. I'm sorry, puppies. Somehow I keep accidentally switching to two weapons. I'm not sure how. Oh. Shit. Oh, wait, let me do a takedown even though it's right in front of him? Alright, I'll take it. I think I ran too fast into the room and got their attention. Well, this one I can do a takedown on. Maybe. They don't see me? Ah. 
Got some like energy back back thing. <laughs> I love that you can just collect helmets for little bits of armor, just more and more helmets. At this point I'm probably wearing like a dozen of them, just all taped on top of each other, I guess. Probably supposed to do a takedown on him, but whatever. Take out commanders. Oh, that's right! Yeah, um, commanders can radio for reinforcements. If you manage to take out all area commanders without being detected, they will not be able to set off the alarm and call for backup. If you move in guns blazing, kill the commanders quickly before they have time to use their radio. Commanders will continue to call for backup until they're dead. Yeah, so you got kind of a little bit of an incentive to be stealthy or at least be fast about the commanders and know where they are. Because they don't instantly call for backup, but they will pretty quickly. Of course, this game is not mainly about stealth. It's not really a stealth game, so I'm not going to be super stealthy, but, you know, I'll play it smart. There's a commander. Probably the only one. Hopefully the only one. Grenade! Oh right, and these boxes can contain stuff. Not that I need anything in particular right now, but... You know. Doesn't hurt. All oh, right, I got a uh, handgun now. I think I'll only use that if I have to. What's this? Bomb needed. Oh, okay. I guess there's a bomb this way. Oh, they were on a mounted gun. Glad I took them out quickly. If I remember it, I can take the mounted guns with me, temporarily. Right? Yes? Yeah, hold the detach. Here we go. Of course it makes you super slow. Huh, I can still jump though. Oh, there's the bomb. Oh, I ditch it. I think you just switch to a different weapon to ditch it, right? Yeah. Might be some secrets over here. Why does this have a marker on it? Oh, I'm... Hmm. If I can put a bomb here, what about the other place? What about the other place? Well, I can either use the bomb back there or here. So I'm gonna use it here because it's further away. Maybe it's some sort of bonus thing? I don't know. Ooh! -hoo. I wasn't sure how strong that was gonna be. <laughs> Looks like I almost died. Those two cannons are perched on the upper levels of the cliffside bunker. Ooh, hello. You have to put them out of commission. We have people in the air and those cannons are blasting us out of the sky. Is this where I was supposed to go then? Or maybe they both lead to the same place. Who knows? Handgun upgrade silencer. What's this? What did I do to upgrade it? Highly efficient when trying to sneak through a hostile area. See to toggle it on and off. Okay. So it's just something I just have? Like right now? 
Yeah, there we go. Okay. Didn't say anything about it making it do less damage or anything like that, so I assume there's no penalty? I'm just gonna leave that there. It's too slow. I'll be fine. Let's, uh, let's test out the pistol, actually. Haha! <laughs> Unlocked a perk. Did I? Yeah, so perks are something super cool. Perks are permanent upgrades to your combat abilities. Each perk is unlocked by completing a set of requirements, and once unlocked, the perk provides a unique bonus or ability. You can view all perks, blah blah blah. In the perk screen. Yeah, so basically there's like certain challenges you can do, like get 10 headshots and stuff like that, and it gives you perks that are relevant for that thing. Like, you know, you do sneaky stuff, like shoot people in the head with a silence gun or something, and it gives you stealth-related abilities, and, you know, like kill a bunch of people with grenades, you get explosion-related abilities. It's pretty cool. It always gives you like something to try to do that is maybe a little bit outside of your comfort zone. So, Deadeye increases damages, damage from headshots while aiming down a weapon's sights. And you can see the requirements down at the bottom right. Perform a headshot while aiming using assault rifle and handgun. Three and one. So I already had the assault rifle ones, and I got the one handgun one. Cool. And that's under tactical. So for stealth, I need to stealth kill a commander. I should probably do that. Next one here is just quick draw. Equip and unequip weapons quicker. I just need to get a bunch of headshots. 40. Okay. Assault is... Oh, I need to get 10 dual-wield kills. Okay, so I should use multiple weapons. And kill two enemies with one grenade. Yeah. Cool. Okay. <laughs> it's so quiet. Just ping. It sounds like I just threw a little... Like, threw a nail at their armor. Ooh. Wait. Dual wield kills. Can I... Can I dual wield pistols with silencers? Huh. I can only put the silencer on one, but if I only use one of the guns, the one with the silencer, then does it count as a dual wield kill? Shit. Somebody heard that. Oh, shit. And the commander just sounded the alarm, and now we've got backup. Hold on, I just want to see if that counts as um, dual kills. Yeah, it does count. It was at 1 and now it's at 3 out of 10. Okay, so I could just dual wield pistols and just use the one with the silencer if I wanted to get them that way. That's <laughs> kind of cool. It feels like it goes against the spirit of assault, though. This feels like you're supposed to run and gun, not be stealthy. It's interesting, too. Um, when you have dual wield weapons... Left click shoots the left weapon, right click shoots the right weapon. I don't know, I haven't dual wielded in too many games, but I feel like sometimes it's just treated as like a single weapon and it just shoots from both, but they're actually distinct. Not just you fire them separately, but only one can have the silencer in this case, so kind of interesting. Alright, let's run and gun then. Oh, well, there's a commander, so should be safe now. No more reinforcements. Locked double reload. That's from this, right? Yep. Increases the reload speed while dual wielding. Nice. So it gives you the ability to get, looks like, some more. Looks like some of these you have to unlock the previous one, yeah. Um, kills while sprint sliding. Single wield or dual wield. Bullet feeder kills using a turret while mounted. Increases ammunition storage. Yeah, there's a lot of things to go for. I'm not going to worry too much about it right now, but I'll definitely be keeping a look at those. Grenade. Right. 
All right, let's try to sprint sled. If I could find an enemy. Oh, there's one. Oh, shit. Uh, you can't aim very freely when you're sprint sliding. Did that count? I hope so. Uh, yeah, that counted. Cool. Yeah, that's pretty difficult, actually. Because the sprint slide is pretty quick. And when I'm sprint sliding... Let's see. Yeah, when I'm sprint sliding, the most I can turn to the side is... This. Like, I don't know, 20 degrees or something? So you gotta be, like, really sprint sliding at somebody, pretty much. You can't really just sprint slide into a room and aim around. Is this where I'm supposed to go? Up here? Because there's also, like, a whole hallway down there. Oh, nice! I killed two with one grenade, I think, for that perk. I just realized I'm actually super low on health. So yeah, what did that perk do? Unlocks the ability to throw back grenades. Okay, that should be fun. Next ones I can do. Uh, just get a bunch of grenade kills, so that'll just happen pretty naturally. Indirect kills by dropped enemy grenades. So... So that's just any, any enemy's grenade, if it kills somebody, that counts. So I guess even if I throw back a grenade, that counts? Or maybe if I shoot them while they're throwing a grenade, they also drop it. Perhaps something like that. This game's really good looking, by the way. It almost feels like a shame, because it's it's such a fast-paced game. It feels sort of like a <laughs> shame. Oh, a little bunny. Aww. Um, that the world is so detail cuz you don't typically stop and look at it like this you know it kind of it's a run and gun shooter but if you actually stop and look like it's pretty detailed there's some old boots people took off and left there been drinking tea writing in their journals they got a picture of a bunny that's a very lumpy bunny i like it been smoking that's some nice little details most of which I'll never appreciate, except for just right there. Because most of the time you run in and just mash E. Armor, health, cool, cool, cool. Aww. One of their children's drawings, it looks like. Or maybe it's their own drawing and they just are very bad at art. I mean, fair enough, I'm bad at art. Counting off the days. Also, oh, keep in mind, these people are Nazis, so fuck them. So it's not like, oh, Nazis, they had kids. You know, maybe they're all right. No, they're fucking Nazis. Fuck them. I think these are destructible, aren't they? Yeah. Pretty cool. How do I get up there? Looks like there's a whole area up there. Wow, blast goods can't fall down a couple feet without getting hurt. Oh, stairs. Yeah, that helps. Okay, I'm gonna go check what's down here. Ooh, actually, before I check down that 
that uh, hallway that I hadn't explored yet. There's actually some cool stuff in the controls. There's toggle left mode and toggle right mode. So maybe I can put a silencer on the left weapon. It's just up to you. You can do the left one or the right one. Do them independently. That's pretty cool. Do I have two silencers though? Let's try it out. Also, you can toggle dual wield, which I assume means you, you know, if you have one assault rifle, then turn it to two or go back to one. So you don't have to go into like the weapon wheel just to switch like that. Let's try that. I assume this doesn't... Oh. Oh, this does have multiple fire modes. I guess it's just different per weapon. For the pistols, it's the silencer. For this, it's single fire or burst. Or not burst, but just auto fire. Yeah. And then uh, X should... Yep, switch to two. X again switches to one. Okay, that's going to be handy. And Q switches between the last used weapons. So this will go from... Dual wield pistol to this. Go back to one. Go to two. So Z should put it on the left one. Yes! You can have silencers on both. Oh, that is cool. I don't know if I'm ever going to need that much of a granular control of the silencers. I mean, if you're trying to be stealthy, do you really need two pistols? Kind of weird. Uh, what's the extra thing for the submachine gun? Uh, it doesn't have any extra thing. Knife. Oh. Just holds it differently. wonder if it does more damage, less damage, or if it just looks different. And... <laughs> yeah, oh, that's cool. So... Huh. So you can have one of these dual-wielded weapons in single-fire mode, and the other one in burst. Which I also don't think would be particularly useful, because if you want to go into single mode, that implies you want to be accurate and save ammo. But if you want to be accurate, you might as well switch to a single weapon and just aim down the sights. But the option's there. Huh. Neat. So yeah, for right now, going between pistol and assault rifle is going to be what I want. the hell happened in there? Opens from other side. Bunker map. I don't know why I look at it, it's really not particularly useful. I didn't like come from here or something, did I? was that noise? Also, I forgot that if you press the middle mouse button while having a weapon, it also uses the knife, so you don't have to switch back to the knife. If you just want to, like, break a box or something. Oh! Oh, yeah! So, oh, what's that? Enigma code piece one. Yeah, the person that I saw play through this game. They got a bunch of Enigma codes, but I never actually figured out what they were for, if anything. Maybe they are just purely a collectible thing for achievements or whatever. Um, yeah, but this is, uh, this just overlooks the door that I could have put the explosive on. So, yeah, both, uh, both areas lead to the same place. I bet the game would feel very different if you came from there compared to where I came from. This is like full-on huge assault, big battle arena. Okay, so back up. Ah, shit, I wanted to grab the grenade and do the throwback, but I couldn't find it quick enough. Oh, I hear another one. Worked. I think it blew up in my face, and yet somehow it didn't really hurt much. Oh, 
Oh, I'm breaking this thing. Oh, no, there's <laughs> there was somebody in it. I didn't even realize that. Hey, that's very good, Captain, but there's one more cannon further up still fighting at our perch. We started climbing the cliff wall below the castle. Hurry up and meet us at the top. Uh... Uh... Okay. Whew. Was that you annihilating the stomper, Captain? Mm hmm. That is some fine shooting. Oh, I thought for a second maybe I'd be able to, like, jump on top of it for a shortcut down or something. So I need to go back down? Oh. What's over here? Oh right, I forgot this game has things to read. Um, I'm not particularly interested in reading them, so you can go ahead and pause and read this if you'd like. What are these for? Hope I don't regret this. Oh, they're time dependent. <laughs> Got a mecha dog on the cover of that magazine. Ah! I just tried a bunch of combinations. There's not too many given that there's only three of them. Opens a secret area. Enigma code? Somebody's secret office. So, does this say what the Enigma codes are for? Chapter 1, 2 out of 7 of the Enigma codes. Oh, collect Enigma code pieces to complete Enigma code puzzles within the extra section in the main menu. A solved Enigma code puzzle will unlock bonus modes. Don't know what those bonus modes are, but not particularly interested in that. Throw it back, come on, come on. Oh, too far away. It really seems like you, like, to be able to throw back a grenade, it's gotta land, like, right in your face. Secret cash. Found Oscar's letter. Again, not particularly interested in reading it, but you can go ahead and read this if you'd like. Uh, there it is. Wow, it's pretty long. This is gonna hurt. 
Where did they even go? They didn't explode, they just disappeared. <laughs> they're just disappearing. I wonder if they're just... It's just propelling them backwards so fast they just... Go flying. I saw no blood cloud, nothing. Just gone. Yeah, you know, let's take this. What is the uh, perk for the turret thing? I need to get turret kills, right? Kills using a turret wall mounted. Oh, it's got to be mounted. Okay. And still, I'll take it along with me. Never mind. It's too slow. Yeah, so these are where I killed them, I guess. I think. There's a little bit of blood. No bodies. 